everyone and welcome back to my channel so today I'm so excited to be filming I absolutely love filming it's such a fun thing to do I feel like if you've never tried it you should try at least once in your lifetime anyway today I'm going to be doing a video talking about the fact that I'm trilling well I'm going to be answering the most frequent questions that I get asked I have been trilling well since I was about 10 years old so I have been asked these questions for about 10 years and I kind of did a summary with the most frequently asked Obviously, this video is not to brag. There's no point in bragging. I hate bragging. I just want to do a fun topic video. I feel like to some people, this video can be very entertaining. It can be very refreshing. So this is what this video is about. Like, that's my little disclaimer. The first question, I think it's not going to be a surprise. If you know any bilingual, trilingual, or anyone that speaks a lot of languages, I feel like you've probably asked this question. And if you have not asked it, you've probably thought about it. So the first question is, in what language do you think? So I get asked this question so much, especially when I started my new school, everyone was like, what language do you think? In what language do you think? And honestly, I think in all three languages, sometimes I don't even realize that I'm thinking in one language versus the other language. What I always respond is that I think in the language according to what I'm thinking. So for example, if I'm thinking about something that I have to say in school and I go to an Italian school, then I'll probably think in Italian, you know, because I'll formulate it in Italian. But if I'm thinking about a movie or a book or anything that's English related or some American friends that I have or something like that, then I'll probably think in English if I'm thinking like of sending them a message or stuff like that. And if I'm thinking about something that I have to tell my mother or anything that's Spanish related, then I'll think in Spanish. So most of the time, I don't even realize in what language I'm thinking. It gets weird because they're like, just a second ago, in what language were you thinking? And I'm like, I honestly don't know. Like, it comes so naturally that I'm not sure in what language I was thinking. The only times I can fully answer it is when I'm thinking something related to that language. Sometimes, like, I'll start thinking something related to English and then I'll just continue thinking in English unconsciously. Like, it's very automatic, you know? Like, I don't do it on purpose or anything. So it gets pretty weird sometimes, especially when people, like, insist, but right now, what language were you thinking? I'm like, I don't know, you know, I can't answer that question. So the three languages that I speak are Italian, Spanish, and English. I thought I would get that out of the way. I also speak a little bit of French, but we're not gonna talk about that. I'm talking about languages that I fully, um, fluently speak, you know? My second most asked question is, what is your favorite language? Uh, I love all of the three languages that I speak. I'm very happy of speaking them. But I feel like my, if I have to choose, my least favorite one is Italian. Um, I don't know, like, I feel like it's a gorgeous language. It's absolutely beautiful. There's nothing wrong with it. But, like, it's not my favorite. I feel like it has some weird words. And I prefer Spanish. I feel like Spanish is a little bit more romantic. It has cooler words to me. But I feel like if I had to choose to speak one language for the rest of my life, I would probably choose English. Um, the reason why I would choose English is because, grammatically speaking, English is a very simple language. It's not like Spanish or Italian that come from Latin. Like, it's so simple. The grammar in English is not complex. The vocabulary is very, um, what's the word? It's very, it's not hard, you know? You don't have those hard words that you have with other languages. Verbs are really easy to use. So I feel like I would choose English also because English has some very interesting words. For some reason, there are certain English words that I absolutely love the sound. I feel like Italian and Spanish are very romantic languages, and English has that romantic touch to it, but it also has the simplicity, so I feel like English is probably my favorite language out of the three. My third question is very similar to my first question, I guess, and it's in what language do you dream? It's very hard to actually remember what language you dream. Like sometimes it's very hard to even remember what you're dreaming. Most time I have the same boring answer is that I don't know. I feel like with the dreams, it's kind of similar. Like I dream depending on what I'm dreaming. Like if I watch a film and I'm dreaming something about that movie, like probably be in English since I like watching movies in English. But like, I honestly don't know. Like I wake up and you could ask me and I just, I wouldn't know. Unless I just had a very like vivid dream that I still remember that in that case I can't answer it. But like there's no definite language that I dream or think in. It just happens automatically. It happens very casually, especially when dreaming. Dreaming is a very unconscious activity. So it's not like I plan what language to dream in. 
my fourth and last question I get asked a lot is do you ever get confused between languages? And the answer is yes. <laughs> Sometimes I forget how you say a certain word in the language that I need to use that, but I can remember in the other two languages, which is so annoying. Let's say, for example, that I'm at an ice cream shop and I want to ask her if she has um, apple ice cream. So I'm speaking in English, just for references, I'm speaking English. And I'm like, do you have, um, what's the word? Do you have um, gelato di mela? And she'll be like, what? Um, mela? And she'll probably be like, and I'm like, um, manzana? And she'll be like, sorry, I don't, uh, I don't understand what you're saying. And I'm like, just give me a second, like the word will come. And sometimes that happens. And it can be very um, annoying because if you're with people that don't speak the same languages that you speak, then you have to like, you're, you're trying to tell them the word in other languages, but they still don't understand because obviously they don't speak that. So they're like, okay, you know what? Just when it comes, you can tell me, there's no hurry. And I feel like that's very funny. <clears throat> when I'm with my sister, it gets easier because she speaks the same languages that I speak. So it gets easier even when we're surrounded by other people. I'll be like, Ori, me pasas el um, makeup brush? And she'll be like, oh, here you go. And it gets very funny, especially when we're, we're other people and they were speaking Spanish and then we go to speaking English or using certain English words. And they're like, girls, you know, you're not speaking Italian right now. You're not speaking Spanish. You're not even speaking English. You're just mixing everything up. And we're like, it's so amazing. It's seriously it's so funny and so fun. I remember a couple of years ago, I went to Argentina to visit my cousin. And me and my sister, we started speaking Italian in front of her. And she's like, you girls are speaking Italian because you guys are mad at me. And I'm like, no, we're not. And I remember then that we were like, okay, you know what? If you don't want us speaking Italian, fine. And we started speaking English. And she was so annoyed. In my defense and my sister's defense, we were so little. I feel like it was probably nine years ago. Like this happened about nine, eight years ago. So we were fairly young. And I remember she got so much. She was like, it's not fair. You guys are speaking Italian. You guys are speaking English. You're speaking anything. And I can't understand you, girl. We were like, tough luck. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video and that it was entertaining or that you learned something new. If you guys have any questions to ask me, then leave them in the comment section down below. And if you did enjoy this video or if you enjoyed me, then don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. That way I know you guys enjoyed it and that you want to see more content from me. And also tell me in the comments, not only other questions that you want me to answer that way i can maybe do a second video answering uh, questions that i get asked about being trilingual but also it would mean a lot if you guys tell me what kind of videos you guys want to see anyway thanks for watching bye